make a wish before you sleep, and maybe you'll visit the Sylvanian Forest. <laughs> Getting small, smaller, smallest. Meet Andy, age eight. He wished someone would tell him a bedtime story. Today, in the Sylvanian Forest, he'll hear a tale he'll remember for the rest of his life. The Woodkeeper's Cabin. Hey, Mr. Woodkeeper, I'm here. So you are, Andy. So you are. Come right in. Are you going to tell me a story? No, I'll leave that to a better storyteller than I. But I'll be there. You mean... You're coming with me? Not exactly. <laughs> You'll see. Getting small, smaller, smallest. Oh. A visitor. You're just in time for the Founders Day camp out. I'm Ashley, and this is Preston. Well, kids, everyone's here. Let's eat. Here you are, Grandpa Graf. Why, thank you, Daisy. Smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those silly minions. Little do they know what's in store for them as soon as they go to sleep. What do I do with this, Mr. Pigmark? Oh, stop it, Nedhead. Are you going to tell us a story, Mr. Evergreen? I certainly am. Now, each year at this time, we celebrate the settling of the Sylvanian Forest. All the grown-ups take care of the babies while we take the young'uns camping. And tell you the story of how we found this, our new home, so many, many years ago. Cliff and Gruff and I were a lot younger then. We lived in the woods near a big city, filled with cars and trucks and buildings, and too many humans to even begin to count. Our little woods was disappearing rapidly. People were cutting down the trees. And building houses. Luckily, we had a friend. We called him Boy. Ernest, where are you? Oh, boy. Glad to see you. Ernest, find Gruff and Cliff. The Axe Men are coming. We've got to find a new home for you. Fast! Remember that old bear? Well, told us about a place called the Sylvanian Forest. Yes, it was a paradise. Then let's find it. What do we do now? We can't swim. The water's too rough. We need a bridge! There's our bridge. All we have to do is cut it down. A mountain lion! Run up the old tree! Quick! Oh, 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 oh,
went back and brought the rest of our families to join us. We built houses and soon we had a real community. Yeah, and that, dear children, is the story of Founders Day. <laughs> They've got it all wrong. Oh, wake up, Gator Possum! I'll do it myself! Grandpa Ernest! What happened to the boy? Why, he grew up. But when he got big, he found he couldn't get small enough to fit through the door anymore. So he built a cabin in front of the redwood tree to keep us safe from the outside world. You mean he's the wood keeper? Yikes! It's pac -Man. I'll fix him. Ready or not, here I come. Story I've ever 
ever heard. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Goodbye, Andy. Don't forget it. And so ends another journey to the Sylvanian Forest to visit our best of friends, the Sylvanian families. Goodbye, all, and may your wishes come true. Meet Deborah, age eight. She wishes she could do all the exciting things boys do. Today, in the Sylvanian Forest, she'll get all the excitement she wants, and more. Fantastico! Sylvanian Forest, here I come. Well, Deborah, sounds like you're ready to go. I sure am. I want some excitement. Gosh, I wish I could be a woodkeeper like you. You know, one day, someone will get to take over for me. Maybe you. Getting small, smaller, smallest. on the rocks. Can you get them? <laughs> no. I get wet. Yuck. But if there wasn't any water coming down. <laughs> I've got it. Stay, Gator Possum. You'll have your babies. And I have Sylvanian Forest. Oh, no. Here's my plan. We'll dam the river with a log jam, and the waterfall will dry up. Then, the valley will dry up. 
<laughs> Sylvanian Forest will be my, I mean, ours. Yes. <laughs> I have an urgent message from Mr. Gator Possum. Uh, oh, oh, oh <laughs> that's me. Mr. Packbat says to disguise yourself as a stepping stone and oh. grab the Sylvanians when they walk on you. Gosh, Mr. Ratbrain is smart. <gasps> now you come too, quietly. find out what's wrong here. <laughs> Excellent. Now, all we have to do is wait till Sylvanian Forest is dry. <laughs> the Sylvanians will do what I say or go without water. I can be mayor. I'll be deputy mayor. And I will be king. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he won't. Think, Debra. We need an idea. You got it. We need a big log. A big, sharp log. Like this. But how are we going to get it into the water? <laughs> Sneeze power. Ready, Holly? Here goes. Ah. Uh, uh. Ah! 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 Wow! We did it! Yikes! Look, Mr. Packbat! A dam breaker! I've got to stop it! You two guard the log jam! Packbat's coming! I'll fix that flying flea bag! Like you. <laughs> Me neither. Wish I could stay and eat some more, but it's time to go. All right. Thank you so much. I'll be back. I did it. I saved the Sylvanian forest. I know. You did very well. But aren't you supposed to be back in bed by now? I'm not going until I get an answer. Did I do as well as a boy? <laughs> I thought so. But am I good enough to be the woodkeeper? Yes, you are. If you wish for it and work hard for it and dream on it and learn as much as you can, then maybe, just maybe, you might be the one. 
but only time will tell. Don't worry. I'll be ready whenever you are. Now don't you forget. I couldn't if I tried. And so ends another journey to the Sylvanian Forest to visit our best of friends, the Sylvanian families. Goodbye all, and may your wishes come true.